fed up with the slowdowns caused by the American, British, Dutch, and Australian command in the Dutch East Indies, the Japanese have committed more serious assets to the fight. Dutch submarine O-19 has reported a large Japanese task force near Singapore. This task force consists of two Japanese fleet carriers and two battleships, along with multiple destroyers and cruisers. This is the biggest threat to our operations yet. Hopefully, O-19 will be able to inflict some damage, however, we must prepare for the onslaught that is ahead of us. Hello everybody, Wolfpack here, and welcome back to another exciting episode of War on the Sea with the Abdicom mod. O-19 has encountered a large Japanese task force near their western command, and we are closing in on it currently. Let's reduce our speed to 4 knots and raise our scope. We are currently rigged for silent running. We do want to avoid being detected. As you can see, this is quite the task force. We have two aircraft carriers in here. Obviously, those are going to be the primary targets. Let's begin targeting this one. This task force is huge, though. It looks like we also have two Congo-class battleships. And this must be this destroyer, number seven here. That is our primary concern at the moment. All right. Here you identified. Perfect. We are going to fire four fish, rudder midships, with a three degree spread. Come left a bit. And you know what? We're just going to fire here. All four fish, fire. We're going to fire and get the heck out of here. There we go. Down scope. Turn away. Drop down to 40 meters and increase speed to 5 knots. Hard to starboard, please. O-19 needs to get the heck out of here. Hopefully those torpedoes hit. We aren't going to stick around too long, though. O-19 is a very valuable asset, and I'd rather her not get destroyed. So we're going to try to disengage right off the bat. We do not have any more bow torpedo reserves, so O-19 is going to have to RTB to Batavia to rearm. We do have two fish in our stern tubes, however, um, I'm not sure we are going to be able to hit anything. I could try to target this destroyer. Ah, it, it's not worth it, though. I'm hoping we either sink this fleet carrier or cripple it and can come back and finish her off with the stern tubes. Who knows, though? Here we go, folks. This is it. Four torpedoes are running straight for Hiryu. She is not making any evasive maneuvers. I can see the fish there, and it looks like a pretty darn good spread. Three degrees may have been too much at this range. Time will tell, though. This one looks good. If we spread out damage all across the ship, I... I think we have a pretty good chance of actually sending her to the bottom. Okay. First torpedo hit. Let's see here. Dud. Okay, cool. Impact. One hit. One hit amidships. And two duds, two impacts. Wow, okay. In that case, her solution's at 6%. Speed's 21 knots. She's still doing okay. It looks like she does have an internal fire going on out there. But O-19 is going to disengage from the fight. O-19 is clear to leave the combat area, and we are going to do so. Obviously, here you sustained moderate damage, moderate flooding. We did not damage anything else. Man, this task force composition is intimidating, though. That is for sure. Let's continue on. Now, we're going to have O-19 head south towards Batavia to rearm at this point. Additionally, your eye may be drawn to all these vessels in the Indian Ocean. It's showing up as destroyers, but I am pretty sure these are all just submarines. We will deal with those when we deal with them. Um, Task Force Jupiter here has four Clemson-class destroyers, so if they decide to attack Task Force Jupiter, they're going to be in for a rude awakening. Additionally, I think this contact up here is also a submarine, so we should probably make a hunter-killer group and go through the process of eliminating all these subs. The problem is... Um, they just don't offer any command points, and they're more of a nuisance at this point. 
Convoys are running back and forth to Java and Australia. Other than that, things are looking pretty good for us. O19 is going to head back to rearm, and that is the situation update. Task Force Python is operating up here. I'm going to have her head down south to protect Batavia a bit more directly. Well, it has happened. Task Force Jupiter is under attack by submarines and they are moving to engage. We have lots of torpedoes in the water. I have John D. Edwards, Barker, and Alden moving to engage. Turn on sonar. Begin targeting these subs. Begin targeting these subs. Stuart and Dragon need to get the heck out of here. Come on. We're a little close together. Right full rudder. Target number two is launching more fish, which is not good. Oh boy, okay. Alden, rudder amidships. Bring up our map. Take a look. Left full rudder, come on, come on, come on. Increase speed. Do not get hit by a torpedo, please. I can't even see the wakes of these torpedoes. Okay, perfect. I can see the wakes of those, though. Head that way. Turn on active sonar. Reduce speed to 19 knots. You're clear. Barker. Right rudder. Evade that fish. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Damage control. That ain't good. I did not even see that torpedo in the water there. There are three subs. That's a bit much. Barker, how you doing? Heavy damage, heavy flooding. She'll be able to go home. Alden, continue chasing these guys down. We're going to sink every single submarine in this task force. All right, John D. Edwards, go get them. Dragon. Turning away. Stewart, turn away as well. Increase speed. Right full rudder, please. Uh, that's unfortunate. We were struck by a torpedo. It's a lot of torpedoes in the water. Stuart, please, for the love of God. Does it look like this torpedo is just... Okay. Keep turning. Okay, we're good. We are good. We're out of there. Perfect. Okay. Poor Barker. My goodness. Working on the fires, though. Reduce speed a bit. Alden, go get him. John D. Edwards, go get him. This little guy is probably going to be able to escape. These things are fast. Alden, go for target number one, though. Get depth charges ready. Pattern of three, five seconds apart. Alden is about to commence her depth charge attack. Let's get ready. Three patterns. We're about to go right over her stern. Rotor right amidships. This looks good. Looking good. Okay, fire. Okay. Charges away. That looks like a good one. There we go. Beautiful. Second charge is dropping. Come on. There we go. Beautiful. Okay. John D. Edwards, it's your turn to make it happen. Get your charges ready. Reduce speed, though. Reduce speed quite a bit. We're gonna try to depth charge this little guy. Although it is going to be hard, I don't think these Clemsons have uh, K launchers. They weren't using them anyway. All right, fire. Yeah. Roll one more. There we go. Yeah, not my best pattern, but that's okay. 
I'm not sure if these are taking them out. Ooh, it looks like that may have actually stopped her propellers. Her speed is dropping. Indeed. Okay, that was enough. It caused some issues. Alden. Turn north and head after this one. Barker, come around. Time to get your revenge. This one does not look good. She's dead in the water. Looks like she's trying to surface. We'll see if she tries to surface. Barker, how you doing damage control wise? Yeah, you just have a lot of flooding, don't you? Well, that's okay. She'll still be able to unload all of her troops and supply. After which she will head back to Australia. I really don't want to keep her in theater if she has this heavy damage. Good thing the Clemsons are relatively cheap. I wonder if this thing's going to try to surface. If it does, we'll blow it out of the water. Additionally, I want to... <laughs> Let's make sure everyone is not firing at will. I do not want collateral damage here. Okay, Barker, come around. Alden's going to go after number three. This Japanese submarine has hit the surface. Guns are swinging around. Drop a depth charge. Yes, please. There we go. Hitting it. Rifle rudder. Drop another depth charge. There we go. Drop another one. There we go. She is sinking. Good kill. That's one going down. I am wondering if this one's trying to hit the surface as well. John D. Edwards is going to go after this one. Alden, continue tracking that submarine to the north. Barker, come this way as well. Turn on active sonar. All right, John D. Edwards is going to take this one out. There we go. That's one submarine taken care of. How fast is this one going? Six knots. Okay, Alden. Continue at 18 knots. That's fine. Stop targeting her. Target this sub here. Let's go chase her down. We are going to get all three subs here. They are going to pay for torpedoing Barker, which seems to be recovering. I mean, all this flooding is bad. That forward magazine being flooded just sucks. This Japanese submarine is hitting the surface. She is trying to surface. John D. Edwards, engage. Open fire. Alden, open fire. Get her, get her, get her. All right, guns are about to open up, I'm sure. Healing over. Open fire with guns, there we go. There we go, she's engaging with her deck gun, come on. Shooting star shells. There we go, hits right off the bat. Oh my gosh, are you freaking kidding me? Alden, blow that freaking thing out of the water come on thank you high explosive thirty six knots ram it she's going down that is insane damage control Okay, three fires, minor damage. Swing back around. John D. Edwards, depth charges. Two of them, five second drops. Okay, let's get ready. Drop some eggs right on top of her. Fire. Have fun with that. There we go. And she is sinking. That's sub number two going down. Damage control. Working on the fires. Okay. One sub left. One sub left. This fire. We'll be able to get this under control. John D. Edwards is closing in on the final sub. Let's blow this thing out of water and go home. Continue with our mission objective. She's still running away. We have a pattern of three depth charges set up. Damage control on Alden is going well. Unfortunately, fires keep breaking out, but 
We should be able to get that all repaired. Let's see, what's our speed? 13 knots, that should be sufficient. We are running right alongside the target. Let's get ready to drop here momentarily. It's unfortunate that it doesn't seem like we have any K launchers that fire off as well. We're just rolling them off the stern. That's fine though, one away. Two. All right, keep on firing. There we go. Falling short, keep dropping. That one looked good. It looks like her screws are coming to a halt. There we go, that one is going right down her periscope. Come on, oh my gosh, it's going deep. Hopefully that's, that definitely still inflicted damage and this one should inflict damage as well. There we go. All right, let's check on Alden over here, damage control. My goodness, all these fires just keep breaking out. Come to a stop, get this under repair. Have these fires stop breaking out. And come right, let's check on our sub friend. She is sinking. Yep, she's going down quite rapidly. You can see her depth is dropping past 100 meters. I think that may be it for our submarine friend. Thank goodness. They caused quite a bit of trouble. We just got the report that the submarine imploded and she is done for. We are going to sit here and repair all this damage. Look, another fire has broken out and then we will withdraw from the combat area. Alden is repaired. Let's retreat, leave the combat area, confirm. All three submarines sunk. Hey, we actually got a command point for doing that. Barker unfortunately sustained heavy damage and has heavy flooding but she is going to continue on to unload her supply i can't believe we actually got a command point for that we actually have 13 command points 12 of those are because java came out of repair however i am going to wait for our weekly influx of command points before spending them i would like to form another task force anyway that's the current situation task force jupiter is going to continue up towards batavia and it looks like Batavia is actually looking good. I don't see any Japanese resistance here. It's still smoking and everything, but I think we've pretty much eliminated the last Japanese holdouts in the area, which is great. The much needed supply though will be helpful for Batavia and will also allow O19 to rearm. Task Force Basilisk has encountered some enemy aircraft. Thankfully, we do have CW21s providing cap and they are moving to intercept. It looks like a bunch of Bettys carrying bombs. So hopefully our CW21s make quick work of them. I am going to have Perth increase speed to 33 knots. It's time to get moving. Let's avoid getting bombed. CW21s are moving in quickly. There we go. Blow these Bettys out of the sky, please. There we go. Already taking a couple of them out. All three in that formation have been destroyed. There we go. Perfect. Now we just have three left. Hopefully we'll make quick work of them. Come on, boys. Oh boy, poor Exeter is being targeted. Left full rudder. We do not want Exeter to get destroyed. There we go, come on. One left. There we go. She's going down before they even drop their bombs. Perfect. Okay, well that was some exciting air combat. Let's make sure that Betty doesn't hit Exeter. That would be my worry. Doesn't look like it's going to, we're good. All right, let's get out of here. Once again, Task Force Basilisk is under air attack. CW-21s are still operating above, and here we go. Oh, wow. This is going to be an absolute turkey shoot. They're all dropping down to the deck to try to release their torpedoes. CW-21s are up there trying to drop down. Oh, boy. 
Okay, let's make sure Exeter, you have your radar on. Same with Perth. Turn on your radar. Increase speed as well. 27 knots. Get moving. There we go. Lots of Mavises here. Come on. Shoot. Okay. That CW21 just got on their six and uh, didn't feel like shooting them down. Okay. Do not let them drop their torpedoes. Come on. There we go. Oh no, we lost the CW21. Oh boy. Yeah, we've lost a couple at this point, but we are still, we still are tearing them up. We have another formation closing in. They have a ways to go. They have a gauntlet to run of aircraft. We've, I wonder how many CW21s we've lost in total. Looks like we only have four operational now. That's not very good. There we go. Taking them out though. This is definitely going to be more costly for the Japanese. Come on, shoot them before they drop their fish. Shoot. Come on. There we go. One. One more. There we go. Before they even drop their torpedoes. Phew. Love to see it. That was close. <laughs> Good news, O-19 made it to Batavia and has rearmed. She is going to head back up to the north. I have a feeling that Japanese Carrier Task Force is playing more of a defensive role near Singapore, which makes sense. Singapore obviously is not my primary objective at this point, but if O-19 can be up there and whittle down the Japanese Carrier Strength, then I am going to have her do that. Other than that, things are going well. Barker's still heading towards Australia. Things are operating normally. It is day 46 of the campaign. Here we go. O-19 has encountered them once again. It looks like they are just hanging out here near the Japanese Western forces. Anyway, let's begin and start. Hopefully we are in a good position and indeed we are. Here are you still here? All right, come left. I am worried about that destroyer there, though. Obviously, we are going to target here, you. We're going to keep our scope down because apparently there's loads of aircraft flying overhead. Zeros. Lovely. I am worried about this destroyer. As a matter of fact, let's rig for silent running, reduce speed to one knot. And we are just going to lay in wait. We're going to fire all four torpedoes with a two degree spread. Hopefully that'll be enough to send her to the bottom. I would love to bag a fleet carrier here. I believe it is time to fire. We are in a good position. All four torpedoes are ready. We are going to fire with a two degree spread. All four fish, fire. One away. Two. Three. Four. Perfect. All four fish away. Let's increase speed to four knots and get out of dodge here. Right rudder. Let's get out of here. If we're going to swing our stern around quick enough to fire off our stern fish, we will do so. However, I am not banking on it. Once again, I'd like O-19 to escape as quickly as possible. Down to 40 meters. It's kind of shallow here, unfortunately, which is less than ideal. Regardless, I'm pretty confident in this spread. Here's hoping we get some good hits. Moment of truth, our torpedoes are racing in. They have just passed the Mogami. There are their wakes. Hiryu is not going evasive. Uh, looks like she is now. She has started to turn to port slightly. Oh, maybe I'm mistaken actually in that. She's just running straight. Here we go. That looks like a fantastic angle. First fish is going to strike just aft of the island. Dud. Impact. Dud. Dud. Wow. One hit. Three duds. 
What absolute rotten freaking luck. Okay, well, she is on fire. Flight deck's on fire. Speed is dropping. She's down to 11 knots. We are going to disengage, though. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe we had three duds with that. That is quite unfortunate and very rotten luck. Okay, well, let's get out of here. We are clear to leave the combat area, and we are going to do it. Heavy damage from here, you. Looks like this one took minor damage from something. There may have been a collision out there. What a shame. What a shame. Only one hit. Well, O19 is going to continue to operate up here. Let's see if we can pick him up one more time and hopefully sink here, you. Third time is the charm. O19 has encountered the Japanese Carrier Task Force once again. It looks like Hiryu has sustained more damage than we would have thought. Up scope. Let's raise our scope real quick and come left. Take a look at our friend. There she is. Oh, shoot. Down scope. Lots of aircraft. Do not want to have our scope up. Do not want that thing to be spotted. There we are. Um, hopefully these Japanese aircraft don't notice us. Ooh, I don't like all that. Okay, target here, you though. We have a heavy cruiser here. There's this flanking destroyer as well, which is worrisome. I have a feeling these Japanese aircraft may have spotted our scope. No, maybe not. They're just flying all over the place. Okay. All right, continue to turn around. And we're going to try to get in and hit here you. Unfortunately, this destroyer is problematic. We could try to fire at this angle. Her speed is only eight knots. Hmm. Yeah, that makes things difficult, doesn't it? I am worried about this destroyer detecting us. That's my main concern here. We could reverse the boat. Let's start reversing. Give it right rudder so we keep turning the direction we want. Let's try to back away. Our position is not ideal. However, I think I'm going to make the shot. I want to avoid detection. So here we go. All four torpedoes. We'll do a two degree spread. Fire. One away. Two. And four. Perfect. Drop down to 40 meters, 50 meters. That's fine. Start moving forward. Left full rudder. Let's get the heck out of here. This destroyer is just going to get too close to us. She is not looking good, though. Uh, I mean, her speed's like 10 knots right now. We can see this other carrier, Shokaku, maybe, going around. <laughs> uh, hopefully, we get a few more detonations than one this time. Our torpedoes have been spotted and the task force is starting to conduct evasive maneuvers. However, I think at least a couple may strike here. You here? Come on, keep sailing. Please give me three. One hit, two. Looks like the third's just going to go. Wow, third actually hit. There we go, three hits. Perfect. That does not bode well for her. This ashore is haunting us. She's going down, let's go. Let's go. Okay, let's disengage. Let's get the heck out of here. We are clear to leave the combat area, so we are going to do that now. There we go, 12 command points gained, that's it? Okay, well, we'll take it. 17,000 tons sent down to the bottom. And uh, yeah, another very successful attack for O19. She has now bagged a fleet carrier. I'm glad we took one of them out, even though it seems they are taking up more of a defensive role in the north. Anyway, that is all for today's episode. I do hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and comment as it really does help out the channel. 
But until next time, this is Wolfpack345 signing off, and I'll see you all on the next one.